Tell me your favorite video. My favorite video is Nike Boots video. It wouldn't be no Souls of Liberty would it? like we did Nike Boots. We were Souls of Liberty, I guess, but we weren't really Souls of Liberty yet. It was more like a, a a dry test run. From there, we ended up feeling like we needed to do a mixtape. And after Long Locks and Nike Socks, the rest was history in terms of our work and us yeah, what we did. being on a mission to be the best rappers ever. And all that. Hey, my favorite is Future Millionaires. It was the first time we really took a step forward where I felt like we were independently going to shoot it. We were going to produce it. We we got like, we had the second video on there. We had a much bigger budget for that. I feel like it was the first time we were trying to take that step moving forward to be like more professional. Yeah, we definitely, we did a lot of failing, you know what I'm saying? But we was failing forward. But I could respect the starving artist that's like putting all their money in. Like we was working, doing all type of shit. Yeah. To support our art. I mean, think about what we still doing to support our art. Shout this mic ain't free. Are we doing hip hop or are we not doing hip hop? This is hip hop. That's what I thought. Guess what? It's hip hop 50th year anniversary. Right. And we got the hottest album for the 50th year. Talk to your mama about it, not me. Please. <laughs> what are you excited about? as far as the new videos we're about to put out. The impact it's gonna have on the youth. We in a position in our life where it's like, we out in front. This is our legacy. The stuff that we doing, the things that we saying, you know what I'm saying? I just want people to be able to connect and identify us with being really, you know, true artists. Like black art is a big deal because it really is the only thing that documents what it's like to be us. In an authentic, real way. Like, Unedited. The good and the bad. But I feel like, you know, we add a positive spin on being a black man in St. Louis at this time period. We make good ass music, bro. You let's, know what I'm saying? Let's, let's we make good it. ass music. We have some of the best production. You know what I'm saying? Let's they ever come out this it. city. We have some Shoot. of the best bars. You know what I'm let's saying? Let's talk about so it. So the fact that we write all our shit, we do all our shit on our own. Nobody let's be fucking helping it. us do shit. Where nobody got to help us do shit. I'm not complaining. I take pride in that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I take pride in, in seeing other people happy because it's not for me this time. You're right. I'm only making music to give, provide a service for other people who, who've been begging me to do it and that have a, a, a need for me to do it. And so that fueled me to get back into it. It wasn't because otherwise I wouldn't do it. We already over busy without doing music. You know what We're I'm saying? Already over busy without doing music, but yet. We found the time. So we back. To give y'all these bars. And you know, it's 20,000. We doubling back. It's a lot. I'm going to change. You know, double the pack till I'm poverty free. Uh. <laughs> double the rapper you wish you could be. Nigga, come Back on, to back, man. just like Drizzy and me. Come on, nigga. I'm excited, bro. I'm excited to get these bars off and add to the culture and hopefully lay a foundation with this project that can help us have a proof of concept to, to give other people more opportunities. I'm looking forward to continuing the legacy of Souls of Liberty. 